This is the ITEL S18 Pro and here is the ITEL S18 which I did cover on this channel. Now the pro in the name of this device is a dead giveaway that this should be a better device. But guys let me paint a picture and let you make that decision right now. And by the way this device from ITEL the S18 Pro comes for 83,000 Naira which is roughly $110. While the S18 here goes for 63,000 Naira or roughly $80 so there's a $30 difference between these devices. With those out of the way and so without taking much of your time yo guys let's get started one aspect where itel doesn't disappoint is in terms of the accessories you get from within the boxes of these devices so you still have this um, flimsy but usable um screen protector from these devices you have your wired pair of earphones and you also get this 10 watt charger from within the boxes of the smartphones for the pro variant on here i was expecting something within 15 to 20 watts for the charging system on here i needed something faster but you're still stuck with a 10 watts charger from these boxes other things include a tpu case for protection on these devices and generally everything you should expect from this budget smartphones they don't seem like the major premium devices that take things out of the boxes so you're covered in this regard in terms of design you can see that the pro variant on here takes the lead in that regard now i don't think this just appeals to me myself here i think a lot of people looking at these two devices would go for the itel s18 pro the only thing i don't really like about this rare design here is the little shimmers that go on here making it look more like a cheap device and nothing like the premium devices you see out there but in terms of how the cameras are being placed it reminds me of the techno camo 19 pro and some other bigger and more premium looking devices out there and also this is the first time itel is giving us a side mounted fingerprint sensor so they took it away from the rear as seen on the s18 and brought it over to the side where you have the power button other things remain the same like the 3.5 millimeter audio jack a down firing speaker micro usb port for both of them they should have been USB-C, I tell, I, I don't know. You still have dual SIM trays with a dedicated micro SD card slot on both devices. And basically, everything is about the same in terms of the ports and IO from these devices. One thing I did notice though is that the audio coming from both of these devices sound about the same and none was superior to the other. So you're getting about the same loudness in terms of sound and clarity from these devices. So I tell, aside not having USB-C for this Pro variant, Having slimmer bezels would have been a welcome development and better for the ITEL S18 Pro. Maybe for the subsequent iterations of these devices, slimmer bezels, USB-C and a faster charger. So while speaking of displays, you have a 6.6 inch display, LCD panels on both devices and the only difference on paper is that this is a 1080p resolution display, meaning you get full HD in terms of resolution from the ITEL S18 Pro, while you get a 720p resolution from the S18 which is just regular HD but that's just being on paper when you watch video side by side on these devices I couldn't really tell the difference they had the same 60 Hz refresh rates and the only slight difference I could notice was that the S18 Pro had this little colder tone to the temperature on this display but other than that they were about the same in terms of the display and I could notice just a little bump in brightness on the S18 Pro it's really really little that you might not notice it using these devices so generally for outdoor use this might not be the best devices to use outside, but when it comes to indoor use, these devices generally are okay for what you pay. Now, when it comes to the performance on the smartphones, you can see that the ITEL S18 Pro has been pushed a little further than the regular S18 here. Now, the processor has been changed and the base RAM size on this device is 4 gigs, which can be pushed to 7 gigs using this RAM virtualization feature. While the S18 here comes with 2 gigs of RAM and can be pushed via software virtualization to 4 gigs of RAM on this device. Other than that, you have 64 gigs of internal storage on both of those devices. Performance is definitely better when you play with the S18 Pro and you can see that when you game on those devices and also scroll through the menu with this smartphone. Now, day-to-day -day task is actually a breeze on both of those devices so that shouldn't be a problem for you both devices come out of the box with android 12 although you have the go edition on the s18 you have the full-fledged android 12 edition on the s18 pro the ui and ux in terms of the user experience you get from those devices is really similar to what you get from an infinix device and that has to do with the redesigned skin on the smartphones from itel so overall you have a better experience in terms of the software with the s18 pro and performance you have this less laggy and jaggy experience with this device so it's a better performance smartphone amongst these two now let's talk about the section most of you guys have been waiting for in this video and that's about the cameras for the rare cameras on the smartphones on here from the s18 you have an 8 megapixel sensor 
which is the major camera on the smartphone. The other cameras on here are not the focus. While the S18 Pro gives you a 30 megapixel sensor at the rear, obviously better than what you get from the S18 Pro. But where things take a different turn is when you switch over to the front facing cameras. You have an 8 megapixel sensor from the S18 and a 32 megapixel sensor from the S18 Pro. Now, when you place the photos from this front facing cameras, you can actually tell that the Pro variant is miles ahead of the regular variant. So generally in terms of the cameras, the front facing camera here is the major focus of the S18 Pro for those of you guys who like taking selfies and making vlogs but honestly my opinion I would have preferred a better rear camera than the front facing camera but obviously ITEL must have done the market survey and realized that lots of people want better selfie taking cameras so the S18 Pro is out there to fill in that gap in the market for the cameras the S18 Pro wins yet again now let's talk about the battery life on the smartphones you get over a day of use on average use for the smartphones which are powered by a 5000 milliamp hour battery on each of those devices you have 10 watt chargers for this smartphones also here which takes a lot of time to charge from 0 to 100 over three hours in my own test you also get the better battery life from the itel s18 and that's because you have less pixels to push in terms of the display on here and you have the less power hungry processor on this device so this takes a little more heat on the battery life but both of those devices will take you into the next day on average use so in general for a difference of 30 dollars which is roughly 20,000 naira. I would say the better value for money here is the ITEL S18. But if you want the better selfie camera, a slightly better display, and also better performance in terms of how the smartphones perform, then go with the ITEL S18 Pro. And that's about it for this video. Check out my review on the ITEL S18 here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kobe that day.